In Islam, as in many other religions, there is the concept of belief in the unseen. This refers to the phenomena that only Allah perceives. We humans cannot hope to understand everything in the vast universe, but we know that certain things exist because they are mentioned in the Quran. Allah says in the Surah Al-Hujarat in the Ayat 18, Surely Allah knows the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is all-seeing of what you do. Muslims know that jinn are real creatures because they are mentioned several times in the Quran. In fact, there is an entire chapter called Al-Jinn in which we learn that some jinn listened to the Quran and realized that it was a wonderful recitation and then accepted Islam. Humans who were made of clay, jinns were created from smokeless flames. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, the angels were created from light, the jinns were created from a mixture of fire and Adam was created just as you have been described. Like humans, jinns eat, drink and procreate and die. However, they possess some special abilities that humans don't have. For example, some of them can fly. Sometimes they can demonstrate amazing strength and speed. While jinns have some abilities that humans don't have, humans are more smarter than them. That's why Allah has said that humans are ashraf al That means that humans are on the top of the creations that have been created by Allah. Jinns are shapeshifters. They can take on various physical forms, including that of humans and animals. Although jinns can take this variety of forms, they are almost always invisible to humans. In fact, the word jinn means hidden in Arabic. Allah has chose to create them in such a way that humans cannot see them, but they can see us. Like humans, jinns were created for one main purpose to worship Allah. In the Surah Dariya, in the Ayat 51, Allah said, I did not create jinn and humans except to worship me. So like humans, jinns have free will. Therefore, some of them are religious believers and they will enter paradise. But others are eviloids called shayateen, whose sinful actions will earn them eternity in the fire of hell. Because they have free will, there can be Muslim jinns, Christian jinns, Jewish jinns, and also atheist jinn. Jinns are not ghosts, genies, or spirits, or souls of the dead people. And although they have been granted special power, they are certainly not more powerful than Allah. Not all genies are bad. Even if a jinn has evil intentions, a sincere believer will be protected by Allah. The shayateen cannot harm a righteous Muslim without the permission of Allah. Quran says in Surah Al-Isra, in the Ayat 65, Allah added, You will truly have no authority over my faithful servants, and sufficient is your Lord as a guardian. Islam teaches that Muslims should believe in the jinn, but maintain a proper perspective. Allah has hidden them from us for a specific reason, and we must trust in his wisdom and perfect planning. Certainly, there are countless mysteries in the vast universe that humans will never fully comprehend, and jinns are one of them. In following videos, we'll be talking about some of them. We'll talk about their powers, their levels, how they are organized, and other more facts about them. So keep tuned and keep learning. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.